long-term objectives of self-reliance and sustenance. Number five, equally urge the federal government to conduct an extensive enumeration and mapping exercise to, among other things, determine the location of the agricultural schools, sizes, and staff strength to ensure comprehensiveness of the policy. Number six, again, urge the federal government to immediately embark on comprehensive enumeration of the handicaps and people with disabilities in the country to, with the view to integrate them into the cash transfer component of the social investment program to improve their livelihood and commit them to stop begging. Number seven, call on the office of the Vice President OVV to, in collaboration with the state's relevant institutions, to conduct a census of agricultural schools and had count the destitute children with the view to enrolling them in the ongoing National Homegrown School Feeding Program. Number eight, also call on the federal government to forward an executive bill to the National Assembly to enact a law for the criminalization of child destitution and street begging one year after the implementation of these resolutions. Number nine, to further call on the relevant ministries, departments, and agencies of government to collaborate with the organized private sector, international donor partners, and philanthropic high net worth individuals to support the new education structure of the Agmadrids. Number 10, to mandate the committee on legislative compliance when constituted to ensure compliance. I so moved, Mr. Speaker. One is on prayer. Two, urge the Federal Minister of Education to integrate the Almajiri education system into the universal basic education program. The federal government has already done that. There is a whole department in, in UBEC that is in charge of child destitution and Almajiri education. So it should be deleted. Then, number four, anywhere that the federal government appears, we should add the state government, because in the Constitution, education is on the concurrent list. And the federal government only gives uh, support of 2% of her consolidated revenue fund for basic education. Since this is affecting basic education, anywhere federal government is urged, federal government and states should be included. Those are my amendments. Thank you. Any second? Second. Those in, the, in favor of the motion as amended say aye. aye. Those against say nay. They have it.